Hey everybody, Kate Rosales here, and I'm gonna walk you through the easiest way to set up Google Search Console for your blog. So ideally, you are going to have a Google account that you use specifically for your blog. You wanna have this set up because you can use Gmail, Google Search Console, Google Analytics, uh, Google Drive, you have so many options and you can house everything in the central location. So I highly recommend setting that up. After you have your Google account set up, you are going to go to search.google.com forward slash search dash console. And it's going to pull up a window that looks like this. We are going to select a property type so that we can set up Google Search Console for our website. You have two options here. I recommend using domain. And the reason is this. Look at this icon. If you set up your property from the domain level, this is the highest level of your website. And it includes all the subdomains, all the protocols, everything under your domain name is going to be covered and included in the data that Google Search Console collects, right? So this is the best option. You do have this option, but look at the icon. It is only going to be collecting data from one URL which means you're going to have to go through this process of setting up Search Console for every URL that you want to track. It's a lot of work. It's a little bit stressful. I don't recommend it, but if that's the only option that you have, go ahead and use it. I highly recommend trying this first though. So you're going to drop the domain name that you want to use right here. Skip all that intro stuff and just use the domain name.com and hit continue. It's going to pull up this page or this window to verify your domain ownership. You have to prove that you own this domain because Google Search Console is going to be collecting data that only the owner of this website really needs to have access to. Okay. So you are going to see this window and you are going to see instructions for the DNS provider that you use. So wherever you purchased your domain name from, that is the company that you're going to want to go back to to verify your ownership of that domain. You can use this drop down menu to see if you have, if you purchased your domain from one of these companies. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of options here though. So, you know, if you didn't use GoDaddy or one of these, uh, then you're going to have to go through the verification process on your own, meaning you're just going to go to your domain provider and you're going to copy this string of text into your DNS configuration. Okay. Sounds crazy. Sounds complicated. Believe me, when I see this page, I just cringe. I hate it. I'm not tech savvy at all, but because I've done this before, I know the process and I've done it on several sites and it works every time. So we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to move forward. All right. So we're just going to hit this copy button. Let's say for example, that your domain name was purchased from Namecheap. Okay. I purchased all of mine from Namecheap. So that's the reason that I have a Namecheap account. Everything's set up through there. Uh, you're going to go to Namecheap. You're going to go to domain list. You're going to pull up the domain name that you want to use. And then you're going to update this text through your DNS right here. Okay. But you'll see my DNS doesn't look exactly like the instructions when you're setting up Google Search Console. I have custom DNS right here and I have some uh, some figures, name server figures here in these boxes. So what if your domain name is pointing to a different host that is not the same as your domain? As an example, let's say we're pointing this website to name hero name servers instead of name cheap. The word name is in there way too many times. Uh, if that's the case, you're actually not going to verify through Namecheap. And this I know is stressful. It's so frustrating, but the bottom line is there's not a lot of tutorials that explain this. So you'll end up getting stuck and stumbling around wherever your name servers are pointing. That is where you need to set up your verification. So if your domain is pointing to name hero name servers, then that is where you're going to go verify your ownership. Okay. And I know it sounds stressful again, breathe. We're going to get through this in this example. I purchased my domain name through Namecheap and I host my domain through name hero. So those are going to be the two images that you see on your screen. Please try not to stress about them. The images themselves don't matter. The hosting company or the domain provider, they will usually hop on live chat with you and walk you through the process. So try not to stress too much. Okay. I am going to pull you over to name hero because that's where this website is hosted. And I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up your, uh, 
your or verifying your ownership for Google Search Console, excuse me. If you use Name Hero, if your domain name is pointed to Name Hero and this is the host that you're using for your company, then this tutorial is gonna be really easy for you. Regardless of the host that you're using, try not to stress about this, just live chat with your host, let them know what's going on. I'm trying to set up Google Search Console, I'm trying to verify my site ownership, can you please walk me through what I need to do? And usually they'll help you out, okay? If you're hosted through Name Hero, you're set because this tutorial is gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do. Log into Name Hero, go to your cPanel, go to Domains, and go to Zone Editor. You might only have one domain in here, you might have several, depending on how many sites you have on your Name Hero host. I have a few, so I'm gonna go to San Diego Pro Electric and click on Manage. Now what we're going to do is come over here to Add Record, and we're going to choose a zone name. The, not that, oh, good thing, I, good thing I caught myself. We're gonna choose a, don, a zone name, excuse me, and in this case, it is going to be the website. If I can spell it correctly, that would be ideal. Double check, make sure it's spelled correctly. You're going to leave this the same and you're going to change the type to TXT. And now you are going to add that string of text that you pulled from your verification page over here at Google Search Console. If you need to copy it again to be safe, that's totally fine. Pull that over here, drop the text right here and hit save record. Once you hit save on that, you are going to come back over here to Google Search Console and you're going to hit verify. Pause for one moment, take a deep breath, and keep in mind that sometimes it takes a little bit for those DNS records to update. So if you hit verify right here and it fails, do not stress about this. It only failed because those name servers haven't been updated yet, okay? So we're going to hit verify. We'll cross our fingers that it works, but if it doesn't, we're not going to stress about it. We're just going to pause the video, go check with Name Hero, and make sure that the DNS records are in process, and then we'll come back and verify later. All right, let's hit this button and see what happens. Magically, this never happens to me, but by some magical step, ownership was verified immediately. So that's all there is to it. We are set. We are good to go. And now Google Search Console is set up for this domain name. That's all there is to it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you get stuck, if you're stressed out, if you're overwhelmed, pause, take a deep breath. Do not hesitate to take advantage of those live chat options with Namecheap, Name Hero, GoDaddy, whoever you're with. Take advantage of them. They work for you. So use that live chat option, get on the line with them, and have them help you set up your Google Search Console. You have got this.